Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and today is going to be a updated version of my how to make a logo video for Roblox games. I know I've done a video like this before, but recently I did a poll on my channel asking whether people would like to see a new logo tutorial video or an RP game tutorial series. So out of the 22 people that voted, new logo tutorial video won, and shout out to these three who commented on this post. So we're going to be creating a new logo tutorial video. In the future, I will probably do some sort of series on an RP game as well, just for the people that wanted that. But I'm going to be trying to upload more now on weekends and stuff. However, it's harder since school has started. But let's get right into the video. So first thing you're going to need to do is I'm going to open up this swirl PNG that I have. Where is this? My desktop. This swirl background PNG. Um, to get this, you can join the Discord. The link to the Discord server is down below. This is posted and pinned in announcements, I believe. You can ask for it in chat. Most of the people on the server have it, but just join the server. Discord server link is in the description for this. But this is going to be kind of needed to help you make it look better, a lot more. So next thing you're going to do is choose a theme color. So just for example, I'm going to go with like a less saturated red this kind of red so the application i'm using for this is paint.net however you can use any free or paid photo editor like photoshop gimp pixlr any of those however paint.net is just my preference first thing i'm going to do is fill in the white with the lighter shade of our color i am then going to make the color darker and fill the black with the darker shade of the same color to get this you can also do different colors if you want this is just how I do it obviously this is art design it's art there is no correct or proper way to do it this is just what I think looks best if you wanted a rainbow background because you do it doing like a rainbow simulator or like a I don't know what are I forget what those called those little green guys that are at the end of the rainbow say we're doing those pot of gold simulator or something you could make it a rainbow background. That's whatever you want to do is up to you. However, I'm just going to do the two shades of red. Next thing you want to do is create a new layer. Go to your text tool and choose your font. The font I use is called Grabold. I will leave a link to download the font in the description, as well as a link to the paint.net download in the description. So anything you need will be will have download links in the description. I'm now going to type the name of the game, so let's just say, for example, we were making a icon for like a um, what a hot dog simulator. So I'm going to switch back to our lighter color. I am then going to do the text. I'm going to do it in all caps, <coughs> excuse me, and write simulator on the next line. I'm going to make this text larger, put it in, oh, I accidentally wrote my text on the background layer. Make sure you write your text on a second layer, or else you won't be able to move it around separately from your background and add drop shadow after. So now that we've done this, next thing you're going to do is go into Effects, Object, Drop Shadow. You won't have this as soon as you install Paint.net because it is a plugin. If I can find the download link, I will put it in the description, but all you should have to do is search PDN or Paint.net Drop Shadow plugin download or something like that and it should come up. I forget exactly how you can install it, but it's pretty easy if you have any issues. I'm sure you can find a video on it. So I'm going to change the blur radius down to nothing. I'm going to make the drop shadow a darker shade of the red. Try and match it to this red right here. If you can do that, that looks about matched. I'm then going to increase my widening radius. There we go. Next thing I'm going to do is add a black layer around this. I'm going to lower the Y offset 
slightly lower the widening radius. Just I'm trying to make it look like a shadow underneath. I'm then going to kind of make it more of a gray than a black. So it looks like that. So there you go. You now have your text completed. Next thing that I'm going to do is move it up slightly. And you are now going to want to open Google. Go to a new tab and search for basically whatever your simulator theme is. So I'm going to search for a hot dog cartoon PNG. There we go. Once you do the search, you're going to find an image you like. Um, I think we are going to use this image right here. I think this is a good one. I'm going to copy the image, create a new layer, and then paste it. Keep canvas size. So it didn't have a transparent background, so you're just going to need to use magic wand to select the white and then control X to delete it. So you can see we now have our hot dog. I am then going to do a black outline around the hot dog or whatever your image is. So there is an outline, get rid of the Y offset, increase the widening radius. I'm not going to put this underneath the name. I'll line it up in the middle. I'm going to merge the two layers, center that, add another drop shadow, and make this one white. Increase the widening radius. And there we go. So this could be your icon for a simulator game or whatever type of game you want to make. I'm just going to increase the size of that a tiny bit. As you can see, this was a really quick one. We made this in like five minutes. You can make much better ones if you put more time and effort into the video. For example, this. That's one that I made using that method. Um, let me find another one for you guys. I think I have more somewhere. Um, well, I made all my YouTube art. I made this using the way I just showed you guys. So it's not very hard to make ones if you put more effort in. This was made very quickly. But um, you can also make Game Pass icons with this method. I'll show you. Say I opened another swirl really quickly. Say I wanted to make like a VIP Game Pass and you need your game pass image, I could make a gold, darker, gold, go to text, write VIP, I'm going to color pick the first color, new layer, write my text, increase size, then I'll do a black drop shadow, or like a grayish drop shadow. Go to effects, object, drop shadow, a fully black one, lower the Y offset, reduce the widening radius. Then once you have that done, I can just center it out. And then say you wanted like a crown for your VIP thing too. I could just search for a crown cartoon PNG. Wait for this to load really quickly. Um, it doesn't need to be anything fancy. We could just say um, this crown looks like it could work good because I could put that like over the word VIP. My computer would like to load. If I copy the image, oh, that's really large. So let's say I come over here, new layer, paste your image, cut out the whites, or cut out that white. 
Drag it over top. Besides the, that doesn't look great because it was too small. Obviously, you would want to find an image that's more fit to the size of your actual um, text. We we're just doing this quick for an example once again. Black outline. There we go. I could rotate this slightly. Put it on the edge like that. Merge that down into oh crap. So say we moved this over here, put that right like that, merged it, you could have it looking like that, and that would be a cool VIP game pass icon. Basically it's really simple to make whatever kind of logos or icons you need. I hope you all enjoyed this video and found it helpful, and I'll see you all in the next video.